Hey guys, I'm the one you lost, and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this sketch of Bay from Hololive. So, this particular artwork, I wanted to kind of push the perspective, um, perspective, sorry, ever so slightly. Um, I had a, a reference in front of me that was kind of like a, a similar theme, which is kind of like a shower theme. So, uh, this is actually my first time doing a, like, bath or a shower uh, scene, which is kind of one of those things where I'm like, oh, I hope I get it right. Um, but as you can see here, I, I kind of did a guide, but I was mainly flying by the seat of my pants, which is kind of something I've been doing a lot lately. I'm not sure why. Um, but for the most part, it's been turning out okay. Maybe that's just a sign that I'm getting better. Maybe I'm getting lazy. Um, either way, I need to kind of figure that out just to make sure everything is correct. So, in terms of uh, the body type, um, I usually draw Bay a little bit bigger than she actually is in terms of uh, proportions and size. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, some people in the past have not appreciated it. And I do understand. I I'm not so, like, conceited as to think that I can make everyone happy with... Uh, the liberties I take with my artwork, and that's okay. Um, people are allowed to not like my work. People are allowed to uh, have criticisms of it. In fact, I only improve by people criticizing my work. Um, does it hurt? Every time. Every time it hurts when you put hours into something and somebody criticizes it. But in a weird way, I do think that's a good thing to talk about in this video. So... If you don't mind, I'd like to take this moment to talk about criticism in artwork. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's always going to hurt. Every single time you're going to feel attacked or that they're, they're kind of taking the piss out of something that you really, really worked hard on. And it hurts every single time. But... A good thing to remember is despite how bad it hurts, you will learn something from it if you take the time to accept what somebody is telling you. I've had uh, many of my artist friends who are afraid to criticize other people's work because artists can get so mad. And this is where I have to push back for most artists. Um, stop. Please, other artists, stop rejecting criticism because it wasn't asked for. The, the sad reality is when you put your work out there, whether it be in a museum, a public setting, and especially the internet, you are asking people to give their opinion on something. If you were not, if you didn't want people's opinions on things, you would not post it. The fact that some people have the gall to think that all they deserve when they put their stuff out there is praise is a horrible mindset. You will never get better. You will never improve. You may improve a little bit, but you have to, have to, have to take criticism. It's, it's not fun. It never will be fun. But it's so important to your growth as an artist to mature and understand that even the mean comments have value. Because even if their comment is mean-spirited and really nasty, the reality is the artwork got a reaction out of them. The artwork made them feel something. And it's up to you to interpret those feelings into improving yourself. It's, it's genuinely frustrating when I see artists who are so talented not want to take criticism because it's one of those things that, like, the, I understand being sensitive. It's, it's your baby. You worked hard on it. But... You can't put your work out there, whether it's videos, artwork, music. You can't put it out there and then expect only praise. That's such a childish mindset. And to grow as an artist, you have to be able to learn how to take the good and the bad of putting your work out there. So, I want to take this moment to let young artists know, and even mature artists who have been doing it for years, that... Criticism is not your enemy. Hate is not your enemy. And whenever you see all of this uh, information, 
it's going to be overwhelming, especially as you grow larger. But I just want you to understand it is for your benefit, even if it doesn't feel like it. Um, every now and then you'll release an artwork or say something dumb. It just, it just comes with time. Eventually you're going to have a bad take. Eventually you're going to make something people really dislike and you're going to have to deal with it. For example, I made an artwork of the Hall of character Bibu and, or Biju, Kos Kosuke Biju. She is more of a lowly type character. Now, for a while, I was drawing her more in, a, like, a mature body type, but there was one where I kept her normal body type, and I sexualized it. I didn't even think about it. I was like, oh, I, I want to draw this, but I also want to draw Bibu, and I didn't, I didn't think about until after I posted it, when people started pointing out that it's like, hey, you drew this very young-looking character in a way that's, like, weird. And for a while, I fought back because I was like, no, like, she, she's an adult. She's, a, she's a, literally a, a, an adult playing a character that just has a petite body type. Like, she's an adult. But that doesn't mean everybody saw it that way. Does that make sense? Like, um, and even though I wanted to push back, at the end of the day, I had to kind of come to terms with it and be like, this is something that... I'm not proud of because I see where they're coming from. And as an adult, I made a decision and I have to accept the consequences of it. Um, and there's nothing wrong with admitting that you're wrong. In fact, embrace being wrong. You will learn more lessons by embracing being wrong. For example, um, on my YouTube channel, there was a comment in particular that uh, really frustrated me. It, um, it basically accused me of using AI or tracing. And it really, it really got to me for some reason. Um, it, it, those comments don't get to me anymore because I have proof. That I don't really need to um, defend myself. If they had watched the video, they would have seen that I drew it. But... For some reason, I, I, it really got to me. I think it was a troll comment, but that doesn't mean that it didn't affect me. So, despite me being able to take criticism for years, there still are things that get to me. You know, it's just, it's one of those things that you're never going to have moments that are perfect. Eventually, something is going to get to you. It is your job after you make the mistake of kind of giving in to these emotions to take a step back and realize you were wrong. It's very hard to do, but it's very important to do. I have made a lifetime's worth of mistakes in just 29 years. I'm almost 30 and I have made so many mistakes, been through so much tragedy, but I had to eventually make the decision to try to learn from these mistakes. And I'm going to continue making mistakes. It's the way life is. We are all human. We make mistakes. It is our job, if we want to be better people, to do our best to learn and never repeat the same mistakes again. Does it mean we'll always succeed? Of course not. But it is super important. And I know this has been a bit of an odd um, video in terms of subject matter. But I feel it was a very important subject matter to uh, make. Originally, the plan for this video was to draw and give my process and walkthrough of this character, Bay, But it has slowly turned into a lesson I think everybody should learn. And that lesson is to take criticism learn from your mistakes, and become a better person. It's okay to fail. It's okay to mess up. As long as you are willing to take the hard and difficult like decisions and admit that you're wrong. And that can be very hard online. We, we are pre-programmed with the mindset of, oh, I got to own this person. Oh, I got to burn them. But the, the reality is like, 
they're they're never gonna see themselves as the loser in an argument or a situation. So the you have to do the hard thing and that's let go. But we are nearing the end of this video and this uh, particular sketch. And it's funny, um, yes, this is technically a sketch despite it looking pretty finished. Um, this is me just planning out the artwork. We'll have the finished artwork eventually. So I hope you look forward to that. And um, yeah, we are pretty much nearing the end. So we're doing the last bit of post-processing and there we go. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.